What is to be a leader and what defines great leadership? Number one, what defines great leadership is a man or woman who are in touch with where they are, self-aware, emotionally intelligent, socially intelligent, and they understand that the job of a leader is to invite men and women on a journey to discover the leader within themselves while they're following you. So a leader cannot take people to a place he or she has not been themselves. That's number one. Number two, a leader understands how to be vulnerable, operate in intellectual humility, and forever be curious. And if I was to add one more, come from a servant's disposition. So a leader, he or she, will always ask the question at some level, whether they verbally say it or do it in their actions, they will say, how can I best serve you? Because when I serve in the moment, I am leading in service. And the third thing that comes as a result of that is leadership is caught and taught. So somebody is following me somewhere, whether I have the title of a leader or if I lead without a title. How am I showing up in my behaviors, in my habits, in my verbal communication, in my emotional wherewithal? All of those things are creating the leadership brand that I stand for. And a brand is not the title or position because real leaders understand that who you are is bigger than what you do. So a title on a business card does not distinguish that you are a leader. Uh, a leader really understands that how I show up and serve humanity, be it in a, a for-profit business, non-profit business, or whatever, that is the difference that I make as a leader. So it's more than having money in the bank, titles, positions, all those accoutrements of success. It's understanding that when the chips are down and people count on you to be the light in the midst of darkness. That's a leader. Dr. Uh, Miles Monroe, who was probably one of the greatest influences on my life, he often said that where there is no purpose, abuse is inevitable. Uh, General Colin Powell, who enough just cannot be said about him. A person who really, that I'm, I'm really wrapping my head around that was a leader of leaders is Mother Teresa. The ability to serve the poor uh, the ability to go beyond herself, to say, how do I help orphans and children? And, uh, it's just commendable. And I think she touched something in humanity.